Lockett Hockey fans on Facebook, Twitter, and other bands. My name is Jed Lockett. Behind me is the Goggin Ice Center, and today the Western Michigan Broncos are in town to take on the Miami Red Hawks. Tonight is the third and deciding game of the NCHC playoff series between Western Michigan and Miami here at the Goggin Ice Center in Coach Katie Arena. Miami comes into tonight's game ranked number four in the RPI poll, number five in two other polls. If you are a believer in bracketology, Miami is very likely to make the NCAA tournament field whether they win tonight or not. If they win tonight, they will advance in the NCHC tournament to the semifinals in Minneapolis. Western Michigan, on the other hand, is ranked 27th in the RPI and unranked in the other two polls. They are pretty much going to have to win tonight and then sweep their games in Minneapolis, win the tournament to qualify for the NCAA field. Remember, only 16 teams make the NCAA field. There are only 59 that play NCAA Division I hockey, period. So tonight's game does have some ramifications. You know, believe it or not, at some level, I don't even care about any of that stuff. I just want to hear the pep band. nothing. So glad I could actually get a seat right at the beginning of this game. I would have loved to have talked to you before the opening goal, but the game has been so flowing. I just haven't had a chance. Half a period has gone by with barely a stoppage. Goal Western Michigan tie game. In a way, I can't really say that I'm surprised. The past two nights, these two teams have played some score fests. The Broncos do need this game, and they're playing like a team that does need this game, which makes them very dangerous. They just disallowed the goal. You think these people are happy? And Miami's going on the power play. A chance to make it 2 nothing here early. Incidentally, I am seated in the last row of the arena. Now, normally that's not a great location necessarily, but here, that last row is row M. So I'm 13 rows up from the ice and sitting in a really good location. I've said it before, I'll say it again. No need to want the funk when your pet band's got plenty of it. One period is in the books. Miami leads one to nothing.
That second goal really gives Miami an advantage. Goal scored! Goal scored! High five, Cam! High five, please! High five, here we go! High five, yeah! Five, two, three, three, one, four, four, six, 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 I was getting ready to say before Miami scored to make it three to nothing. If they could get a third, that would give them a firm grip on this contest, and they now have it. Miami just took a penalty, so they're short-handed for about another minute and 11. It's gotta happen now for Western Michigan, because I saw this Miami team play Nebraska Omaha earlier this season. That game got out of hand pretty fast. Miami killed off the penalty without much incident. Western Michigan just got called for a hook. It was a necessary hook though. Otherwise, Miami would have had a breakaway and quite possibly a goal. A fourth here would about make it absolute. Penalty is over, Miami did not convert, but it is still three to nothing. just got called for what looked to be a hold. So now they're on another penalty kill. Western Michigan has actually outshot them 15 to 11 in this game. A hook. Western Michigan just took a penalty with 25 seconds to go in their power play. So it'll be four on four for the next 25 seconds. And then Miami will have a chance dare I say, to put this on ice with a power play goal. They did not score on their last power play. However, they have taken a bit of control of the game. Their goaltender has played very, very well to keep the puck out of his net. Two periods are in the books. Miami leads three to nothing. At the end of the second, Western Michigan took a boarding penalty, so they're on a penalty kill, although they're trying to get a little bit of attack now. They need something good to happen, desperately. Incidentally, as you can tell, I've changed into my Miami Redhawks jersey in an effort to bring the home team some good luck. Of course, as CM Punk likes to say, luck is for losers. You know, I got here an hour and a half early for this game. Does that make me a part of the cult of punctuality? Western Michigan killed off the penalty and got a little attack. That's the good news. Bad news for them is they're still down 3 nothing. shifted the action as of late down into the Western Michigan end and are starting to get a few more shots on the Broncos goal. The exact opposite of what Western Michigan needs. They indeed are looking every bit of the number four team in the nation. Miami got called for a penalty a little bit ago and then it just took another one. So Western Michigan's got a five on three for 45 seconds. It's a must score for Western Michigan. Ordinarily in postseason hockey, penalty kills get much tighter. But teams are still able to score on five on three. So Western Michigan has got to make this count in order to have any shot 
in this game. Miami is back at full strength. Western Michigan only got a couple of opportunities on that power play. Nothing much on the five on three. As we're approaching the 10 minute mark of the third, Miami is looking really good to advance. 9-0-1 to go in the third. Western Michigan just scored a bizarre goal. They are taking a look at it. If it counts, it'll be 3-1. Still three now. I feel kind of sorry for the Broncos right now. That's two they've had this allowed in this game. left in the third, still 3-0 Miami. Western Michigan just pulled their goaltender. That is what kind of dire straits they are now in. An empty netter, could ice it. Right here, yes! Goal scored! 4 nothing Miami! Book your tickets for Minneapolis! Sincere congratulations to the Miami Redhawks on their win and their advancement to the NCHC tournament semifinals in Minneapolis. I will be following you every step of the way as you compete in that tournament and certainly as well in the upcoming NCAA tournament. Indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, Please body check that like button and hit subscribe as well. Until next time, in the immortal words of Red Green, keep your stick on the ice. Taking us out, once again, the Band of Brotherhood.